Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be working more on the car program. Now as I've said before if this doesn't look familiar to you you may want to move back to the beginning of, to the beginning of the series. Okay so you may remember that we added this button right here that says new car that will allow us to add a new car to the program but at the moment it doesn't actually do anything we haven't even created the event for it so let's just go ahead and paste this event in right here and we'll be accessing that in a second so go ahead come over to car application right click and add a windows form select windows forms windows form and just call it new car dot vb and then add it i've already added it so i'm just going to click cancel so here's my new car uh, .vb. This is the design for it. Now let's come over here to our all cars uh, file, and we'll see some of the information that we're going to need to create a new car. So we're going to need the color, the name. Um, let's just leave the starting speed at zero miles per hour, uh, the number of doors, and the horsepower. So let's just start adding stuff to our new car form. We will add a label. We'll set the name to uh, label name and we will set the text value to name of car. Now what we're going to need to do is let's add a text box so the user can type in a name for their car. We'll make this a little bit bigger and we will set the name of it to text car name. Now we'll do this again for the color and uh, some of the other properties of our car. So we will do the color of the car. So we'll just type color of car. And that, that was for the name. So we'll do label color and we will set the text value to the color of car. So color of car. And we will just add a text box so that the user can type in their color. Okay, so now let's see what else we're going to need. We're going to need the uh, number of doors and the horsepower. So we'll just add a, let's add a numeric up down picker for this. We will add a label that says number of doors. So we'll set the text value to number of doors. And we'll set the name to label doors. Now we're going to go into the properties for this numeric up down picker. So let's just call it uh, numer and then doors and we need to set a max value for this so we'll scroll down and we will find the maximum value right here in our properties we'll set that max value to 5 so that they cannot exceed uh, the number 5 so let's see what else we're going to need we're going to need the horsepower. So we will just add a text box right here. And we'll add a label. So we'll set the label text to horsepower. And we'll set the text box. We'll set the name of the text box to text horse. And then we will set the name of this one to label horse. Okay, so now let's add uh, a button that says OK, or we'll just type add for that. So the name will be button add car, and then we will add another button that will cancel it. So button cancel. We'll make the form a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's make these buttons a little bit bigger than what they are.
Okay, so we'll set the text of this one's button cancel. We need to switch the places. Okay, so let's we'll set the text of this one to cancel. And we will set the text of this one to add. And we'll just make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so now let's go ahead and head back into form1.vb. And here is our uh, create car event uh, click event handler. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new object of new car dot vb. So we'll declare um, add new car as new uh, new car. So now that we have this form right here, we've got an object of it. Let's go ahead and um, show it. So we'll type add new car dot show dialog. Now the reason for using show dialog is to prevent the user from going back to the form one whenever the new car dialog is shown. So now that we've shown the dialog, we need to get uh, whatever they put into this. So to do this, we're going to use the with keyword. So we'll start off by typing with and now we're going to, to use uh, we're, we're going to create a new car object so with um, let's just say see if new car uh, let's say let's just call it new car one and then we need uh, we first we need to declare new car one so dim new car one as new uh, all cars dot car so we're going to use with new car one and we hit enter and you can see it adds in with so basically what this does is it's the equivalent of typing new car one dot car name equals and then setting our value and then uh, typing new car one dot color equals uh, and then our value by using the with keyword it's just going to use new car one uh, before the dot each time we call something uh, with our new car one object so let's just do dot car name so the car name is going to be the value that is entered in the text box right here the name of the car so what we're going to need to do is access the text changed event for this so whenever the text change changes we're going to store that in a public variable so public car name as string so whenever the text is changed car name is going to be equal to text car name dot text 